The Century Champion is the second bit tier upgrade that we've unlocked on the Engineer Monkey, and we're gonna be using it in today's video. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. All right, boys, we are going against Atlas on the map Plutonium Mines, and I'm using Quincy. NG Mortar Glue, right? I'm going to be starting off with this Engineer right at the beginning of this map. Perfect. And we're going to probably go for the Oversized Nails upgrade if possible. And two on top of this, we're sending Space Tico. Normally, with almost any strategy, I'm sending Grouped Reds right at the start of round one. But when we use the Engineer, we're going to Space Deco instead, all right? Because the earlier we get down our Balloon Trap, the better. So let's go for Pin Upgrade as well. We could probably go for Double Guns. Okay, not just yet, but we're actually going to preserve a perfect 150 lives. This is crazy. But now we can start to send him Space Grains, by the way, already on round two, which is just crazy, okay? So there we go for Double Guns as well. And the Balloon Trap is $3,500. So we should be able to afford this hopefully by round five okay that's normally when i can afford it so if all goes to plan that's when we should get it up but there he goes oh wait he got first blood on me how did i leak bro i had double gun and everything he said sorry it's it's fine guys it's completely fine because with a strategy like this um ng mortar glue there is absolutely no way we can defend up until round 40 just no freaking shot uh but since he is using ice that leads me to believe that he's probably going Tack Village Ice. And Tack Village Ice is an extremely good strategy. So hopefully we can actually get him to leak a few lives here so that we can have the life advantage. Because man, oh man, like he probably will refuse to rush me if uh, he has that life advantage, okay? Oh my god, okay, it's round four only. I thought it was round five already. He's gonna go for another ice? Bro, that seems like an OP spot too. This guy really seems like he knows what he's doing, boys, so... That, that's a good and bad thing because like I like competition, but we just need him to leak one life and then like I'll feel at ease Oh, we're gonna leak even more lives. Okay. Now. We need him to leak even more lives <laughs> That's so bad. Oh my god. I'm eight dollars short. No shot boys. Oh my god. I miscalculated I guess okay So let's finally go for the balloon trap round five is here Let's start to send him space whites because the only tower that he can pop space whites with is in fact that and yep I, I called it i called it he is in fact going with the tax shooter guys this is not good this is really really not good because now he has the life advantage so like he just does not need to rush me oh no this is so unfortunate boys this is so unfortunate i'm gonna leak even more lives here oh yeah you, you just hate to see it you just hate to see it <laughs> it's just so hard wait 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 he's leaking he's leaking i'm gonna balloon boost this please please just leak just leak a few more Oh my god, he's down to 140, bro. No. And I gotta collect from this. I'm gonna leak even more now because I wasn't even paying attention, bro. Oh my god. No, wait, we're still at 140 lives. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> no, we were tied in lives, boys. Are you kidding me? No shot, man. I'm so upset. I'm so upset, bro. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna have to go for this mortar finally. Man, oh freaking man, this really sucks, bro. And we're going to probably leak even more right there. No, we're chilling. Okay, so let's send these yellow balloons. Maybe he'll leak to these. I don't really know. Maybe. Um, but nah, he, he's going to be fine. And he went for an overdrive already? Bro, I can't get... Oh, my God. Okay. So, the reason why I wanted to be tied with him in lives... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. He's at 124. Wait. We have the life advantage. Okay. This is good. Now, the real... <laughs> I feel like I've been talking about this for so long, but the reason why I wanted him to have the life advantage, or us have the life advantage, I'm sorry, is because now when round 40 hits, he has to rush me. There's no ifs, ands, or buts, unless he just wants me to win, you know? So, this is a very, very good thing. I'm gonna eco, by the way, with yellow balloons, and yep, he's also going with the village. I already saw that coming from a mile away, but now we literally have confirmation that he's using that, alright? So... Yeah, but now with the Bernie stuff upgrade, I think we can fully defend. I'm going to really try not to leak because I really want to maintain um, this life advantage here, right? Because once again, if we have it, he has to rush us. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. So I'm going to go for another mortar, by the way, all right? So let's go for him right here. Perfect. Let's collect from that. Awesome. I can go for heavy shells as well. Did he really just... Wait, did he balloon... He balloon boosted at me. What? <laughs> Thank you for the feeding or the money for my balloon trap what the heck is going on why the heck did he think balloon boosting that would actually work out in his favor no 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 that that is not the case oh oh i think we're even fine against that though i'm gonna use quincy's ability and that should be fine right yeah we're fine bro he is like being real aggressive here oh my god i still think we're fine though we could go for another engineer actually yeah because he's not even ecoing right now 
I'm gonna take a chill pill then. I'm not gonna eco with constant yellows because he's probably planning to rush me. So we could go for him. Oh yeah, we need a single flare too. <laughs> we need camel detection, obviously. So let's collect that. All right. So now he's back to ecoing with the yellows. All right. So I guess it looks like we're in the clear. I did go though for another engineer. So hopefully we should be fine. Okay. I'm pretty sure we could also clear this obstacle. Yeah, let's do that. And we can go for another engineer right in the middle of the map. This will be our fit tier here, I think. Because once we upgrade to the larger surface area, look at this. Look at that range. That is insane, boys. Okay, so yeah, this will be our fit tier, right? I'm going to go for the sentry. We could already go for sentry expert if we really wanted to. Now, that wouldn't be too bad of an idea because we're starting to prepare our defenses. And in case if you want to send us another mid-game rush, we have the sentry expert on the map. So yeah, let's go for that, all right? Use Gwendolyn's ability. He's chilling with an overdrive and a nice on his side. Tack Ice Village is such a good strategy, but now he is just forced to rush us before round 40, which means we can test our defenses out because this is not my first attempt actually trying to go for the Sentry Champion. I've gotten it up and everything. My opponents just refuse to rush me, bro. So now he has no choice but to rush me, which is good. We're going to end up going for deconstruction on this engineer here, right? Because if you read the description for this, nail gun and sentry shots do extra damage to mob class and fortified balloons. So yeah, this is the best cross path when upgrading to the top patch sentry champion upgrade, right? The 520 superior. Don't try to tell me it's not because I already watched an H-bomb video on it and it is in fact superior, okay? So round 17 is about to be here actually. So I'm going to go for another sentry expert because he's currently not even sending us anything, boys. I'm pretty sure. So that means he he might send us a mob. Yep, he's going to be sending us a mob. So we should be fine against this. Oh, wait, he's going to go. Oh, my God. He's sending us another one, bro. All right. So I went for another one. And I think. Oh, OK. I think we're fine, though. All right. I'm going to I'm going to tower boost. Because like uh, what? Like what, bro? Are you kidding me? That was so many moabs. He just, <laughs> he's so mad because he doesn't have the life advantage. That is so awesome, bro. Okay, so if you want to send us another one, be my guest. We have so many sentry experts now on the map. So we should be even fine against four to five mobs if he wants to send those. All right, so if you want to send them, bro, be my freaking guest. I don't even care. Okay, yeah, he's going to send them. So I'm going to go for another sentry expert and then probably even another one on top of that. And this should be able to handle all this. Yep. We don't even need to go for shattering shells because I thought about doing that. But I guess we don't need to do. Okay. He's not stopping though. Low key. He's, he's not stopping. He's not stopping, boys. Okay. Um, I'm going to tower boost again. Did he balloon boost those again, bro? He did. This guy's crazy. Oh my god! That was so... I could so easily win this game right now, bro. You are so lucky. You are literally so freaking lucky because I just want to showcase this fifth tier upgrade. But man, oh man, you were just so aggressive right there, okay? So the only bad thing is now we only have one more tower boost, okay? So that's kind of unfortunate, but it's fine, okay? And if he sends me a fortified BFB, like a lot, we can go for shattering shells to defortify those. He went for the tax shooter up there instead. Bro... Your defenses are lacking so hard right now. Like, oh my. I, I so wish I could rush him, all right? But let's switch over to now ecoing with pink balloons. Uh, he's currently not ecoing towards us, so he's probably going to send us a fortified BFB. Maybe even multiple. Another one? Just one? He must have misclicked, right? Because that's too easy of a defend. Let's freaking go. Dude, the sentry experts are actually so freaking good. And remember to upgrade to middle path as well. Oh! Oh! Oh, Atlas, bro, you need to go for more defenses, dog. And I'm going to go for Shattering Shells as well. 2D fortified that BFB. Oh, that's when Shattering Shells is so worth it, bro. <laughs> Just unfortified now. That really sucks for him, all right? And I think we should be able to defend, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to go for another one of those. Yep, easy, easy class there, boys. Oh, my goodness. Why is he not going for more defenses, dog? He leaked down to 50A. He almost died to the freaking AI, boys, because I'm only sending him pinks, actually. Oh, no. Things are just not looking good for my friend over here. Uh, but we could go for a double balloon trap, by the way. He might send us a ZOMG or something like that. As long as we can get up this fifth tier, I honestly don't even care, right? So if he sends us a ZOMG, I'm going for the fifth tier, right? 100,000% if we can. So we don't even need this mortar anymore, by the way. Like, it's really not doing all that much. But I guess we'll just keep it on the map. But I went for a double balloon trap so that we could start collecting money from these AI balloons as well. So it's going for another ice. Finally, bro. Like, jeez, man. Like, a single ZOMG, he would die. <laughs> like, a single ZOMG, bro. And he's probably not... Why did I just get $11 from that? That was so weird. But yeah, like, literally anything would kill him right now. He's going to go... Oh, he's going for a 025 ice, I think. Bro, so I can't kill him the DDTs. 
Well, that's a good move. Very, very solid move. Well, well done, okay. But I probably should stop ecoing, I think, at around round 25, like the start of round 25. Because if anything, I'm going to have to go for multiple cleansing foams. And also, too, I might want to go for a triple XL trap. Like, I know we're trying to showcase the Sentry champion, but I know triple XL trap can easily defend against DDTs, you know? So I might want to go for that. So I might do that. I don't really know yet, but I'm just going for zero zeros around the map. So that if we can eventually upgrade these two cleansing foams, let's collect that money. Perfect. And yeah, let's start upgrading these. Oh, okay. I did not mean to upgrade to that. It's fine though. But yeah, I'm going to go for cleansing foam here. AI mob. Absolute breeze. Is he fine against this, bro? I don't think so, bro. Dude, bro. I swear if he dies. Okay. No, he's good. Oh my God. This man over here is scaring me. And I never stopped ecoing either. Okay. So let's just stop ecoing now. And I'm going to save up money for the triple XL trap, okay? Because I really don't know how well the Sentry Champion would do. Uh, what, would it do well against DDT? Should we test it out? Should we test it out, boys? Because we know triple XL trap can easily disintegrate DDTs, but we don't know if Sentry Champion can. Well, at least I don't. So, yeah. We're going to try this out. This might be the wrong move, but hopefully it's not because I'm really scared right now. We have so many other defenses too on the map, so we're going to see if he sends us a DDT here. So far, he has yet to. Bro, he would die to a DDT. A single DDT he would die to. Oh, oh my goodness. He might all out us on round um, 28. Oh, he went for an MIB. Okay. Well done. Well done. So, on round 28, he can send fast cooldown DDTs. Now, if he does that, then we could probably go for triple XL trap. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea. For sure, it wouldn't be. And also, too, we could go for blue incineration. We could do a lot of different things. And people said that signal flare decamos DDTs. No, read this. Super hot birdie stuff melts through five layers of balloon. Each shot burns mob class balloons for extra damage and strips DDT camo. It specifically says it strips DDT camo. So you need blue incineration in order to do that, okay? You just can't strip it with just a signal flare. The only reason why people are saying that is because with monkey knowledge, you can. But that's not the case, right? So... I'm going to have this upgrade just, like, ready on standby in case he wants to send me fast cooldown DDTs in case the Sentry Champion cannot um, defend against all those, you know? Because who honestly knows if it can or can't? I might send him also a regular uh, unfortified BAD on round 30 because that will incline him to rush us because he has the uh, 025 ice up, but obviously that's not going to help him against a BAD. So he's going to have to counter with DDTs if he wants to have a chance, all right? And I'm going to make sure that I give him a little bit of hope by just like not upgrading to the triple XL trap just yet. But I will go for blue incineration, all right? Because I'd rather have this because I believe this can decamel all DDTs for us. Like, I don't know how many cleansing foams is enough to decamel every single DDT, you know? So, yeah, I'd just rather have that on the map, all right? And we have definitely enough money to send him a non-fortified BAD. And he only has two overdrives, bro. Like, two overdrives is not going to get you anywhere. I'm sorry to say that. It just absolutely will not. Um, so yeah, let's just send him this BAD. He might send me one too, low key. I would not be surprised. And we have a lot of defense on the map. So if he wants to send me one, be my freaking guest. Oh, he is. Okay, so I'm gonna go for triple XL trap then, just to have that set in stone. And we're gonna hope and pray that we can actually defend against this. He's gonna say, wow, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I think actually we should be able to defend against this, right? With the fifth tier and everything. I hope so, boys. I'm gonna end up tower boosting actually against this. And we're gonna see. If this can freaking defend, ladies and gentlemen, all right? I don't think this is going to do all that much for us, but I'll micro this as well. Oh, dude, we just got to pop this down. That's all we got to do. That's all we got to do. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's doing It's doing all right. It's doing all right, boys. We can also balloon this again. So let's do that. Got to make sure that I can decam with these DDTs too. Oh, my God. It looks like we're not doing that well. We are not doing that well, boys. And we don't have another tower boost. Okay. Engineer. Uh, Sentry Champion. Did not do all that much. Not going to lie. Um, so I might want to counter here. Maybe. Good game. Why is he saying good game? He's about to pop his down. That's why. All right. So I'm going to send him. Oh, wait. No, I can't even send him DDTs. He has icicles. Oh, my God, boys. Wait. We actually might lose this. We might lose this. Okay. Wait. His D his is uh, further on the screen, though. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God, guys. This is, like, so close. But I don't think we have enough time to pop this down, unfortunately. It's really unfortunate. But he's going to end up dying first, if anything, anyway. So... That's a GG. Just barely, though. He never even counted with DDTs. He just knows that Triple XL Trap is too freaking OP. And I think he used all of his Bloom Boost earlier, too. So that's why the BAD was further on his side. And just barely, guys. Oh my God. Please, can we get the dub? Oh my God. 
That was actually really close, but Century Champion just could not clutch up, and I had so many Century Experts as well. I thought for sure maybe it could pop up a single 4 to 5 BAD, but no, it just could not. BADs either need to get nerfed, bro, or they need to buff the heck out of, like, pretty much every tower except for meta towers right now, man. Because, like, it is just way too hard to even defend against a single fortified BAD. Like, that is just way too hard, boys, all right? But I hope you guys did, in fact, enjoy it. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comment section below. But that is all I have for you guys in today's video. It's been your Bull Bull Tricks or Justin. Peace out, everybody.